Hi, uh, I hope you've had a great Easter. And uh, I just want to go through something with you that I found uh, would be really useful for both you and for me. And we'll just go through uh, uh, the, the benefits. It's to do with the way in which you hand in work. So when I'm uh, receiving work from uh, from a student uh, and an assignment and I get all these assignments, I can mark, I can give them marks and so forth. If I actually sort of look at it, when I actually get a bunch of photographs and uh, as you can see here, I've took pictures, a random example, I have sometimes pictures that are upside down, um, or they might be sideways, or they might be uh, two pages together, uh, and uh, no, it's, it's fine, it's great, that one's great, but this one here, um, I have to have to sort of look sideways and I might sort of zoom in and out to actually read it sometimes. So so that for me is a bit more difficult in actually being able to process and um, it's a challenge and that's the main thing that slows me down in terms of being able to give feedback. Um, I just wanted to show you what this looks like in terms of um, the file size. Um, I've taken those seven pictures as I just flicked through very quickly, and it adds up to over over a hundred megabytes of data. Now that's a hundred megabytes of data that student has actually uploaded to the internet, and then I've downloaded from the internet. So it's going to slow you down in terms of you uploading all your files. Now, um, I've actually then put those in using a scanner. Uh, this on my phone, and I'm going to demonstrate this to you now. And I've been able to put, bring it down to one megabyte, so 105 megabytes, all brought down to one megabyte. If I just show you that file, it's the same pictures, but I've been there. And the beauty of this is they're all the right way. I'm not having to do any of a cock in my head sideways or upside down. Everything is nice and clear, nice and wide, and and it's it's you know when I have a student who actually uh, uh, hands me something in that's that's um, been scanned in. Let me find one here. Sorry, no, I'm not finding them here. Hang on. Eventually, there we go. It's fabulous. It's so easy just to, just to flick through. I can give information, I can give details and so forth, I can give my comments and so forth. But the key point is that it's nicely presented, it's the right way up, it's the right size. And for everyone's benefit, the key thing here is the file size is really small compared to the file size of all the fo individual photographs you upload. So I want to quickly go through that as a process, if you, if, um, if you would let me. Uh, so hopefully uh, my phone will be connected. So, here's my phone. I've got various different scanner apps. I'm going to just very quickly show you both um, Cam Scanner and Faster Scan. They're both uh, very good. They have their benefits and what have you. Um, they should be both available to you, whatever, irrespective of your phone um, make. And um, they're both free, I think. And they all have um, sort of the basic um, facilities inside it. So, let's just go through the process of doing it with Cam Scanner. Okay, so uh, now I've actually already taken the photographs. Now, you know, you could be sitting here where you're actually taking the camera and you're sitting there with your document and you're taking a picture like that, right? Okay, you're going to be doing that. Uh, alternatively, it could be a situation where uh, you are um, adding files um, from the camera roll. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you're doing it. So I'm just going to come out of this and just go through the process of making that, 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 um, so here we go. Right. So I've taken some pictures. Okay. Already. Um, I've just taken those files, those, those, those pictures that you saw earlier on. And if I actually select all, all of those. Okay. And I import them. So now I have a situation where I've got all those photographs. Now, to some extent, it'll do a bit of a, a, a bit of scanning and a bit of tidying up already. But you might have to go in and just tidy up a little bit. Okay, so I can re-edit, and you can see straight away. You can see it's already sort of highlighted the page. Okay, and the other thing is I want to turn it around, so I can use these icons at the bottom to turn left and right and sort out the fact that. And there it goes. It washes it out. Okay, um, carry on, press the tick, moving on 
to the next file again that looks pretty good to me so come out of that go into the next one and that's pretty good as it is now you can re-edit you can actually if you can see here it actually starts to to frame it properly okay moving on to the next one re-edit moving on to the next one i'm just swiping tick tick box i'm swiping left okay no comments please about swiping left or right um and all i'm just doing just taking a moment i'm doing this live so it takes a moment re-edit just turn it left it's automatically framed it press the forward button press the tick button i'm happy with that swipe again re-edit turn it around slightly resize that corner forward tick swipe again re-edit again it's framed it for you there you can see okay you can go left left to turn it upside down resize it a little bit if we feel as though the corners aren't quite in the right place go forward tick so it hasn't taken me too long to put together all those seven pages together okay uh, and once I've, I decided that I've, I'm happy with that I can just come out of that and I've got the full document there now I might want to add further further pictures which I can uh, I can re-edit the name of the of, of the of the file so I can give it uh, a, a name if I want to and um so once i'm and also the other thing is really useful is i can reorder the files as well okay so i can go uh, a manual sort and as soon as i go manual sort what i can do is i realize i scan two pages in the wrong order i can swap them over just hold and swipe across and move so that's an added bonus okay so that's the process. Then I've got that file. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. What am I going to do that? That's on my phone. I want to actually upload it to the teacher so I can share. Okay, and, and share it as a PDF. Um, I'm fine with it. It's going to tell you something about a watermark. It's going to give you a little sort of scanned with cam scan at the bottom uh, corner somewhere. It doesn't matter. It's out of the way. It's not going to cause you problems. So you're just going to share. And the beauty of this is you should find within all of that you've got google classroom okay so in google classroom i'm logged in as a, as a student account here and uh if it's not highlighting the correct uh class for yourself you can go forward to that and then select the alternative class okay whatever class it is and then you can say a, 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 a attached to an assignment and you can click the assignment and hand it in basically and that's all done that's all sort of integrated that workflow is available to you okay so i hope that's uh, really useful to you as i said to you for me it's a huge benefit in terms of having a a, a pdf document that i can just scroll through hopefully you've taking your pictures in order in the correct order so i'm actually looking at all the pages in the correct order that's a huge benefit to me as well if you can make sure you do that and um for yourselves it cuts down on your time in terms of uploading in terms of uh, your data packages that you're using and so forth uh, there's a, it's a win-win all around okay so i really hope that you take that opportunity of using cam scanner uh there's another one faster scan which just does the same job okay very similar idea again you can take the pictures you can highlight your 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 pictures and what have you and then again it, it tries to detect, if it can't quite detect it you can just pull it in uh press next you can turn it upside down it's the same process so i'm not going to go through that whole process with you you get the idea okay hope that's been of use to you um and looking forward to the work you might be handing in over the next few weeks thanks bye-bye